guess it would help if I moved the microphone closer. <laughs> Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, the Waffen Traeger event is here. Dun dun dun, don't care. Uh, <laughs> really don't care. Uh, I All I want is the um, commanders. And um, yeah, unfortunately the servers for the event are always down every time I log on because I'm, see, we went to the end of the ceasefire because I play on the North American server. I don't play on the EU server, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get these commanders because of the constant server reset curfew thing because Wargaming in their infinite wisdom can't seem to basically get better servers, I guess, is what it is, I, I suppose. Let me just move the monitor a little bit because I shifted it. There we go. Aha, better. Now... Today's video is going to be where we're at with the on track to the SU-101. Now, I've gone ahead and recorded, I think, like, f at 10 plus episodes. They're coming out every Monday um, for you guys. Uh, one Monday is going to get two episodes. Um, as a One's a previous episode, so you know where we started, and then it's going to be the actual episode where we're at, so you can kind of do like a little mini catch-up kind of thing. Like an episode uh, um, previously on, you know, kind of thing. And so, it came to my attention during one of my live streams on Twitch um, that it was pointed out to me that I'm further along in another tank destroyer line in the Soviets. And that that is true, I am. So what I'm going to do is bring up my tanks. And I've... I'm, I've already set them aside in a comparison so we've got the su 101 and then we've got the isu uh, where is it the isu 152 now the crew for this tank is singing in the, in the uh, 152k so they have been getting some experience and whatnot and grinding out now i did sell this tank uh, a long time ago to help me get the funds up to buy i think it was my mark 48 pattern so that should tell you how long ago it was i've had that pattern now for about two or three years and i've just never been able to rebuy the tank well luckily for me uh i did buy some of the loot boxes didn't get anything good i think i got like a kv1s the little or, or loader tank it's a piece of trash don't touch it um but it did give me a bunch of gold which i then converted to credits i know stupid me i shouldn't have done that and I bought the tank. So I now have the, the ISU-152 back. And like I said. And so I've added it to the compar comparison list. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the two tanks. Now they're both the same tier. They're both tier 8. They're both tech tree. Now the difference between these two is that ISU-152 has a 750 alpha gun. This is the tier 10 gun. I've got literally everything unlocked for this tank. As where I don't for the SU-101. Now, the reason why is because for the ISU-152 line, um, it stemmed off from the KV-2 line, which stemmed off from the KV-1 line. I mean, way back in the day. So if we actually look at the tech tree real quick. Okay, what you see here now wasn't around. So the KV-2 stemmed from the KV-1, which was a turret upgrade. The moment you upgraded the turret, the tank went from the KV-1 to the KV-2. Okay. I'm showing my age here now. So let me just uh, uh, over here so you can see what I'm talking about. So the KV-1 stemmed to the KV-2, which then stemmed to the S-51, which then stemmed to the IS, uh, which then stemmed to the SU-152. Uh, so, so the SU-152, not the ISU. So then that's how I managed to start going down that those two tech tree lines. And then I doubled back, went through the SU-85, Got to the SU-100, like the SU-100, a good little tank for tier 6. Lacks armor though, but still it's tier 6. When you see tier 8s, it hurts. Just saying. Again, I'm go I've got another video coming up here soon. I'm in the middle of writing the script for it. Yes, I've actually written a script for this video. It's going to be a long format video on how Wargaming can actually, with minor tweaks, fix their game. Literally minor tweaks, just minor tweaks, they can fix their game. And so... I realized that I'm at tier 8 already in the turretless tank. Technically, the Soviets don't get any turreted tank destroyers. Um, the only turreted tank destroyers the Soviets get is that 
uh, Forest Spirit Tank Destroyer, which is a premium that only shows up once in a blue moon. Even the, uh, even the, the box tank, the SU-100Y, is, is an in-case. The SU-122 is an in-case. There's no turret to turn. So it really doesn't... It, 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 that's neither here nor there. But what is here nor there is the fact that I've now got two separate tank destroyers to work through. Um, and decide where I want to go from there. Now, bear in mind, I do have uh, some blueprints for the Object 268, because, again, you get those from just replaying the game. And so all I would really need to do, and yes, this is the legendary BL-10 gun, 286 with basic rounds. Trust me, you very rarely have to tap the 2 key when it comes to the BL-10 gun. And the BL-10 gun can be used it's only on the object 704 oh that's right they moved it it used to be a you used to get the bl10 gun on this tank and then they changed it to this thing which again as you can see it is a tier 10 gun on a tier 8 tank destroyer so i actually stand a chance uh 260 pen 292 yeah granted it's not 300 mil with with, with um with, with premium but it's apcr which means i can go through tracks okay it's not high explosive squash head, which means I don't have to worry about hitting tracks or hitting gun mantlets, things of that nature. I can just point and shoot, if that makes sense. It also means that 152 millimeters, I will overmatch things like the Conqueror's turret. I will overmatch certain things like Swedish tank destroyers. I will overmatch you. Do not try it. I will overmatch you. It will hurt. I will laugh. You will die. There we go. So... Now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to compare the ISU. So let me just put the crew back in. Uh, put in its own crew. Uh, return crew. And so, like I said, I've had this crew for a while. They've just been sitting in my ISU-152K getting me credits. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do a apples to orange comparison-ish, I guess. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play three games in the ISU-152 and three games in the SU-101, uh, and we are going to go and compare them together at the same time. This is going to be cool. So uh, let me whack on some boosters, because why the hell not? We can earn a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, there is only 3,000 players here, so it might take a while, or the matchmaker might screw us a little. Oh, oh, hey, we're in a game. We are, what is it? It's an Abbey. It's a regular match on Abbey, and it's tier 9. Okay. Now, we could do the typical static defense, where we just go and camp here, here, and then just get picked off by other tank destroyers and get shots. Or we can go down here, see where the heavy... We've got one heavy. No, two heavies. So we can see where the heavies are going and then go with that push and uh, go from there. So, time to roll out. So what I'm going to do... Quick look. Charlotte 4... ELC, Jasaw, let the Jasaw take that spot, even though technically he's not a tank destroyer. There, I said it. Turtle's not a bad tank destroyer for the Brits if you are really looking for a border the Salak who just got half his hit points taken. Cool. So we've got a T54, Object 460, Shuffle Tour for Ford, a Jasaw 108, a Turtle, and myself. Uh, oh no, those heavies are getting two T30s going with them. They're good, they're good. They are good. Right, so I'm going to let the turtle go through. There you go, my friend. Go, my little British fat little suka. Right, so. Ura! And so there's an object 274A. Now, him, I will need to tap the 2K. Mostly because I keep getting him confused with that multi treaded version. Because of the 270, whatever it is. And, okay, there's the prototype Yagi. So people have been definitely getting into the Bond boxes. Um, so, Shalfa Turtafir is shooting at another Shalfa Turtafir, T-54. Alright. Hi. How are you? There you go. 
go. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you, mate? Again, APCR will go through tracks. Stop. Don't don't think it won't because it will. So you know he's gonna back off. Let him back off. Holy smokes and a vagina, we just sort of got all the way behind us. Okay, there's an ISU 152K. I'm not really worried about him. Well, actually, I am worried about him, but it's him. So he's going to try and keep his proxy lit. That's fine. Okay, did that shelf to a die? Yeah, 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 that, that G saw's gone. G54 pop down, quick shoot him in the butt. I'll deal with this 152K. Alright, yeah, don't care, mate. Don't care. Low roll. Well, actually, no, it was a bit of a high roll. But for real? We're dead for. Get what the actual hell? Wow, all of the mediums that went with us left. Really? Why? So you can go after two Sherpa tours? You legit screwed over the... Okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Anyway, that was game one in our ISU 152. All right, we are on Pilsen to 10. Again, this is a prime example of why tier six, tier seven, and even some tier eight tanks seriously should not get plus two, neg two matchmaker. Alright, we are a support tank destroyer, which means we find a nice little spot. Oh, I, I as you did win. Nice. Let's do that. Keep an eye. Yep. I really should put my phone on side. Why is all the heavies over here? Uh, what? Uh, hello? <laughs> um, what? <laughs> what? What the? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Come on, guys. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna bounce. I'm, I'm gonna bounce off a light tank. Yeah, because, you know, I'm gonna bounce off a fucking light tank. Because, you know. Can you not stop one bloody medium tank? It's a medium tank. Like, seriously. Of course, STA one's got me there. Like, what is going on? Of course, I just saw it's just gonna keep me trapped. Ding, dong, ding, ding, 
dong. Yeah, like that thing's not got fucking sheer amount of broken fucking rate of fire. Why? 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 Why did those heavies come here? Why? 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 I I seriously want to know why. Why? Why did you do that? If you ever play on the North American servers, guys, don't play when there's less than 3,000 players because they all play like fucking... They all play like they're Kevin Smith. If you don't know what that means, it means they should remain silent, just stand in the corner and beat off. That's it. Ugh. Seriously, it's just like, what's wrong with you people? Okay, so... Let's get back to the second game in the ISU. Hurrah! Finally, a game. Muravanka. Okay. Standard battle. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay. Uh, tier 8. This is good. This, this is good. This is better. They do have a really good light tank. So do we. Okay, what I mean by that is, I mean, the Walker Bulldog on this map is good. Um, because it can offset its bad camo by using the Magic Forest, if it knows what it's doing. But Shelly on 12T, once its gun is loaded, can just clip out that Walker Bulldog. Alright, as for moi, okay. I will give some kind of support where I can with the OI. Versus two Tiger Ps. One's got advanced hardening. The other one doesn't. You can tell by the, the hit point difference. Uh, one has got 1,500 hit points. The other one has 1,670. Which means he's running improved hardening. Of course, our Yu-Gi-Oh tank is like, No, I don't want to do. Everyone's like, Why do you call it the Yu-Gi-Oh tank? Look at its name. M2Y. Okay. You're telling me that that's not, that shouldn't be the name of one of those robot Pokemon. Uh, one of those robot Yu-Gi-Oh monsters from back in the day you know like the xyz abc robot tank thingy you know power rangers you know, seriously it's like when they started adding robots to Yu-Gi-Oh, that's that's when i was like nah i'm out bruv and i guess i used to play Yu-Gi-Oh. i used to play um exodia necros deck um not exodia just exodia necros all right so again Tiger P's are on Overwatch. So, let's see. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, is there a chance? Do you think there's a chance that Tiger P's still there? Fuck it. It hit something. We'll see at the end results. Or if one of that Tiger P comes around the corner and he's missing a big chunk of his hit points, then we'll know. ARL. I've got the fucking... That stupid Green Rangers thing is stuck in my head now. God damn it. Okay. Oh, he's just fired. Good, good, good. Come on. He's not lit me up. Oof. A hit like that. Wolf and Traeger. Hmm. I'm not going to try. I want to get this ARL if I can. Don't know why a scorpion's all the way back there. Scorpion should be over here. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Target 
Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this gun when it hits, it hits. It fucking slaps when she hits. There's absolutely no way I'm still per- I can't be permanent. Come on. ARL's all fucked. Fuck, 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 Laga. <laughs> That's train, by the way, in French. Laga. So if you ever go to a pub, a French pub, and you ask for a lager, they think you want a train. No, not here. Not here. Okay, but he's not there. Where the hell is he then? If he's not there, where the hell is he? I don't want to take another hit. I want to take another hit. Okay. Three, two. Hang it, mate. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, this gun, when it works, it works beautifully. And I mean beautifully. Come on, ARL. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. <laughs> and the only downside to this tank is lack of ammo. I'm not even joking. Lack of ammo. Ooh. No, there's no way he's gonna be up. He's gonna be in that dip. He's gonna be in the dip. Alright, so there are two very pissed off heavy tanks over here. <laughs> okay, we won Forest. Yak Panther's like, nope! Getting off this hill. Did I hit him? We'll, we'll see at the end results. No, I didn't. Come on, roll forward, roll forward, roll forward, roll forward, three, two, one. Welcome to eternity, baby. <laughs> I really shouldn't laugh that hard. <laughs> oh, why can't America get guns like this on their tank destroyers? Oh, wait, wait. Mm. It's just not to a tier 10. That's fine. Oh, that's nice. This Tiger P is like, alright, I'm gonna fucking have him. Right, see you. See you, I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you bullying us. No! Okay, Ram and Tile shot. Ah, shell just whizzed over him. Fine by me. Can't go nowhere. There's the Kimu. Kimu's dead. Okay, Hummel's dead, dead. How dead is he? That dead. <laughs> that was a bit overkill, but I don't care. <laughs> I, I can count on how many fingers, how much of a fuck I don't care. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 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 I finally got one. Nice one, brother. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I absolutely love... I absolutely love... This tank, at times, I do. It 
it when it when it uh, it it oof. Oof. it lets people know it lets people know we're going to hit and apply on that one let's see <laughs> damage done top of the team <laughs> I, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yes, I made 40 sale credit, but I'm running credit booster. Cool. So, yeah, game one sucked. Game two, awesome. Let's see if we can keep that up with the game two in the SU-101. I hope you are liking this extended video, guys, where I'm doing a comparison of uh, where we're going. Um, because, in all honesty, I want to have fun but I don't want to abandon the SU-101. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of selling it, keeping the crew, but sell it, put the crew from the SU-101 in the ISU-152K, and then just play until I've got the tier 10s and then go back to the SU-101 and pick back up and then swap over to the uh, uh, SU-101 at a later date. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm, I'm weighing it up in my mind. What tank is more fun to play? Um, again, because the idea of a video game is to have fun. And if you're not having fun in your video game, why are you playing it? All right, so we are on Sand River. Is this Sand River? I think this is Sand River. Yeah, oh, I was right, Sand River. Tons of heavies. Tier 8. Lovely, bloody, jubbly. Now, everyone knows in order to hold this map, you have to hold middle. Okay, if you don't hold middle then uh, i mean I'll, I'll go to the middle for a bit do what i can light up what i can there's they got a stupid cinelac but like, why would you buy that tank seriously that was a waste of bombs um we got a bit of a tank traffic jam there we go cool that's all done with rocket tank burning up with fuel out here do 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 rocket tank Cool. And so there's a spot I like to go in this tank destroyer. Especially this one, because it's such a low profile. With it being a low profile, it also means it doesn't get a lot of gun depression, which kind of sucks. Um, and you'll see why I like going to a specific... Okay, alright. Okay, so we, we got someone in the middle. Or we got someone over yonder. Yes, I know I'm by some funny. Right, and so what I'm doing is I'm using these rocks to bait out. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh! Nice try, nice try, Artie. Nice try. He got a good stun on him. He's not wasting his med kit. Alright. He's not going to try. Now, I'm, I'm going to pre highlight. Don't have the gun depression. Don't have the gun depression. Again, this is the only problem with this tank is it does not get gun depression. Which makes me depressed in my pants. Ugh, I legit have to expose so much of my tank. And I couldn't even feather a shot like that. Alright, so we're gonna cut sod it, we're just gonna go down. Okay, I spot the T77, but he's all the way up on the hill over there. Object 274A. Alright. Alright, cool. So a rock span us out. Nice one, Wargaming. Love your new physics engine. You do realize I can go through your turret. And I will beat your reload. So you can, come on, come on. All right, he's just gonna hit you. You can either walk forward and let me kill you, or you can just sit there and let Artie kill you. Your karma, your karma lit, mate. Your karma lit. Okay. 
Come on. It would be fucking French artillery, wouldn't it? Come on. Ah, of course I missed. <laughs> and you missed on my ass. Ah, love, love around me. Yeah, I, I just, I can't. I'm not. I just can't have fun in this tank. It's not the fact that my teams just fucking fall apart and suck every time I'm in this tank. It's just this tank just... No gun depression whatsoever. I think it's like two degrees, if that. It's like... Eh. And it doesn't... See, realistically, when a tank has such low gun depression, to offset that gun depression, what tankers do is use range. So that two degrees of gun depression can become technically 20, if that makes sense. So basically, if your target is further away, okay, and you, you can't get your gun down when you're close up, if you back off away from the tank, you can get your gun down on that target now. Because the distance, because the way the planet Earth works is it's full of undulations and whatnot. It's, it's a tank tactic that we actually use in the British Army. And so if we don't have the gun depression, which challengers do, by the way, but if we don't, um, we will back off a little bit. They did it a lot in the Centurions um, when they didn't have the right gun depression or the gun elevation. They would use the terrain. So case in mind, if they didn't have the gun elevation, they would purposely back up on the opposite side of the hill to get that extra elevation to start using HE as, as pseudo uh, uh, mortar shots. Don't ask, don't ask me how I know this. I just know this. Um, and so it just lacks gun depression and 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 just fun um so our third and final game in the uh, isu 152 so let's go okay tier 10 on overlord okay Interesting. Um, this is going to be very interesting. Um, hmm. Very interesting. Um, let's see, what are we going to do? Let's get this show on the road. They do have a very powerful. Uh, artillery piece, a GW Tiger can do some damage. I know I have a GW Tiger, but we do have an M55, so we can slap back. So, T95, IS3A is reevaluating his life. Okay, okay, okay. G source there. I'm not going beach. Ooh, just caught some air, that's cool. Look at that rock there. Shitty ball game. Alright, so what we're gonna do is there's a there's a spot I like to go to. Which is right here. And you if you're in a turreted tank destroyer, you can get some nice um amber shots. Seeing how I am not turreted, I legit have to crawl right up like this. This is an AT-15. Fine. T-95 can take care of him. Off oh, Traeger E-100. Oh, someone's bought one from the event. They've unlocked them. Okay. So legit, I'm the only thing here stopping them now. Okay. Now 
he will beat my reload. T95 to move up a little bit. Yeah, because at AT15, no match. Oh, then. Four. I could take one more hit from that Yagi, but. Why risk it? in this corner. In a pineapple under the sea, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> that was literally an oh, I need to change my underwear. <laughs> but that was fun, guys. So, yeah, now you can see why I've decided to, to go the route I'm going. It's not that I don't like the SU 101, it's just Wargaming doesn't like the SU 101. I have tried and tried and tried, and I've played quite a fair few games in that tank just to get to see how it plays. And every other person I've spoken to has said, it is shit. Get rid of it. It is shit. So that summarizes it up. It is shit. So I got rid of it. Anyway, guys, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm swapping out the on track from the SU-101 to the on track to the ISU-152. So look forward to seeing those videos. That, that It's still going to be the same principle, which means we're still going to be grinding out the games. It just means that we will be playing a more fun-to-play tank. That's it. Anyway, guys, thank you for hanging out. You are cool. Stay safe, stay sane, stay sexy. Keep your shots flying. Keep your enemies dying. Your cover commander is out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.